But you have a way of putting what seems to be impossible within anyone's grasp. Mm. The way you, these analogies you come up with and the way you describe achieving your goals, Mm -hmm. it seems so attainable. And I think that's your, I think that's your thing. I think that's your gift. It's your, it's your ability to make people really think they can, even though the odds may have been stacked against them. Like you said, couple little nuggets during the show that I, I'll, I'll walk away with like and uh, keep saying delusional optimist is burning my brain for the rest of my life winning streak the quantum notebook I'll I tell you bro like I'm the regular guy who is is trying to live one of the most interesting lives ever lived and if somebody if like a little like angel Charlie version flew into the classroom in 10th grade in high school and I'm sitting there listening to Kanye West through the wire in literature class. Classic. And that little angel said, Charlie, you know you're going to work with Kanye West one day. <laughs> I'd be like, how? Like, and then I go home and I turn on ESPN and I'm watching LeBron James on ESPN. And that little angel flew in and said, oh, you know you're going to be in a commercial with him one day. I'm going to be like, how? Like, all these things that I was just fans of. Lil Wayne. LeBron James, Serena Williams, Nike, winning Grammys, winning Emmys, having a Super Bowl commercial. I'm just the chubby kid from Chambly, Georgia, who had big, crazy dreams. And so I think God put me here to explain to people how possible it is to just be regular and have every single thing you want, not Mm -hmm. anything. But it's not like, you know how they say... um, Anything is possible. I never say anything. I say everything is possible. Then I switched it to every dream is possible. Because, I mean, look at this guy right here. A year ago, he's writing in his notebook, depressed, sad, in Bali. And his life, look at it now. You don't see inspiration in that, bro. Everything is possible. And we went on a, we went on a hike together up a mountain and wrote in our quantum possibilities notebook. Two young men dreaming together. Like, that doesn't happen. Mm. You know, but that needs to happen more. I want to do that on the road. Like, I think we can make another winning streak. And you're giving those shoes away? What if I gave away a trip to come on the Dream Machine tour for a couple of days and I have a day like we did with Harry where we go dream together and I'm able to work with somebody one-on-one? Mm. Let's give that away. Gotta love giveaways. Everybody Facts. loves a good giveaway. I, like, <laughs> I love how you two have continued to foster your relationship. That's super cool. That's, yeah, man. that's awesome. Have you have you uh, done any other uh, sort of quantum manifestation projecting? I have a whiteboard on the back of my door. And, okay, and I write like my main big goals before twenty twenty one. So I want to make sure that I see them every day, even though even though I'm not reading them or whatever. Because what I used to do is is I'd write it, write stuff down, leave in my book. Like they're my main goals for the mm-hmm. next six to five years or six months to mm-hmm. five years. But the, the short-term ones, I want to make sure that I see them every day. I have Millionaire on the back of my phone um, as my background. It's just like one sure, word. I sure. just like, who knows? Like it just keeps that in the back of your head, keeps you just thinking or subconsciously thinking about it. And yeah. then it just keeps that like quantum mentality going. And keeps, so you're still doing it, which is awesome, yeah, which is awesome. Myself. Charlie, do you, any, uh, any merit in the idea that less is more? Like when I, well, typically when I do my, uh, my manifestation, it, if I write a lot, mm-hmm. it's usually saying all the mm-hmm. same thing. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Like less is more. I have one goal yep. that I'm gonna, I'm just gonna dive into, and the rest of this stuff kind of just happens. Yeah, my goals are also a bit, a bit more macro, like mm-hmm. I, uh, and a bit more vague, which I don't know if it's good or bad. But like when I was looking at your, uh, your little Hogwarts book, the not little, the massive Hogwarts <laughs> book, the Wizard book. Which, by the way, I think I need one. You wrote, you wrote so much in there. At what point have you just written every possible outcome that, have, that could have ever happened in life? <laughs> Don't you dare talk to Charlie <laughs> like that. <laughs> Don't you dare. I, I can't tell if you're cringing at what I just said or the tattoo. <laughs> that oh, just red. Just He's red. <laughs> that, that, that spot hurts, huh? It hurts. A little more? <laughs> okay, so... Um, so sometimes it's very simple. Sometimes it'll be the background of the phone mm. and just one pure focus. Yeah. One simple thing. But I have different methods to how I like to manifest. Sometimes it'll be, I'll call it a domino effect, where I'll say, okay, this is what I want, 
but when this happens and this is going to happen and then when this is, and I'm able to like walk to the finish line of my dream. Mm. So I'll do it right now. I'll be like, uh, on Logan Paul's podcast, like 10,000 people are going to get a tattoo. And then somebody out there is going to create a Starbucks challenge. And then Starbucks is going to be like, oh, we love this winning streak thing. Mm. And they're going to be like, oh my God, I want you to distribute your book called winning streak and our Starbucks. And then the Starbucks book is the best selling book of all time. And now 10,000, 10 million, 10, 100 million people are now going to Starbucks screaming winning streak. And I'm one of the biggest motivators in the world. Cause <laughs> why do people go to Starbucks to get motivated? And I wrote a motivational book where people start their day in Starbucks and I just did this domino effect from this moment. You just got a sponsorship from Starbucks. Let's go. It's 100% happening. I'm actually not going to call you crazy. Like to me, especially knowing you, that doesn't seem so far mm. out, of, out of reach. 